Hi, it's Anish Raja from A Raja Properties. Now, today I want to talk to you about something you may have come across, either if you're looking to buy a property or if you're considering selling selling your house, um, and that's something called online auctions or modern method of auction, as you'll sometimes see on property listings. Now, I want to explain what this is, um, how they try and sell this to you when you're looking at uh, estate agents or auction houses and what are the drawbacks of online auctions. So um, first of all, what is online auctions? So online auctions are similar to eBay. So if you've used eBay, you'll be familiar with how it works. You'll have a window of you know, possibly 30 days um, on eBay. Obviously you get less time than that, but with property auctions, you'll probably get a 30 day window to sell your house and um, the auction house will come to your property, they'll give you a valuation, they'll promote your property on the portals, they'll send um, emails to their database, etc. So similar to, to standard estate agents, high street estate agents, um, similar to uh, traditional auction houses as well, but there's no venue, there's, you know, the auction is actually held online. So after 30 days or whatever the time window is, if somebody's bid for your property, whoever's the highest bidder, they'll end up buying your property and they'll have a further period of 28 days to exchange contracts and then another 50, uh, 20 or 30 days to complete the purchase. So that allows your buyer um, to apply for a mortgage as soon as they've bid for your property or they've won the bid. Um, so that's how the online auction works. And when you speak to estate agents, they'll try and push you down the path of online auctions because it gives them a bit more certainty that they'll get a sale. You know, if you, if you went through their tradi traditional route um, where they list the property on the portals, they do viewings, they get offers, some may be good offers, some may not be. You know, there's no certainty for them that they'll actually make a sale, whereas with an online auction, there's more certainty for them that they'll make a sale. They'll promote this as well because they say that it doesn't cost you a penny and um, they'll say there's no fees that they charge to you as a seller. So in theory, you're selling your house, you know, free of any commissions or charges from the estate agents. Now that sounds great, isn't it? You know, you're selling your house and if you went through their traditional auction or, or, or traditional estate agency, you'll be paying them a commission. It could be 1% or 1.5% or 0.75% plus that. But if you use online auction, you don't pay a penny. Um, it's completely free of charge. Now the way they work, uh, and they'll obviously mention this to you, is that they'll charge the buyer their fees. So um, you think, okay, well, the buyer's paying, so it doesn't really matter. Now that's not quite the case. You know, what they may not tell you, I don't know whether they do or they don't, but what they actually charge buyers is a big premium. Um, so compared to standard estate agency fees, which are, you know, like I said, 1%, 1.5% plus VAT, these online auctions, will charge the buyer three and a half percent plus VAT as a minimum. Um, and, and there's a minimum charge of 5,000 pounds plus VAT. So it doesn't matter what your property is worth to say it's worth 70,000 um, pounds. If you sell it on your on an online auction for 70,000 pounds, the buyer pays you 70,000 pounds, but they'll also pay the auction house or the state agency that's running this online auction a further five thousand pounds plus VAT, which is six thousand pounds so that's you know six thousand pounds on top of the purchase price of seventy thousand pound that the buyer has to pay so i'm sure you're going to be in agreement but that six thousand pounds is quite a lot of money for people to you know pay a company just for using their online auction platform i buy properties and uh, i know a lot of other investors that buy properties and you know we don't really want to pay six thousand pounds as a minimum to an auction house or to an estate agent simply because we're buying through their online auction. Um, it, it's quite a kick in the teeth to us. You know, I've, I've had to pay it before and it's not something that I like doing. Now, what that means to you is generally there's less people that are interested in your property because now all of a sudden, not only do we have to pay the purchase price to you, but we also have to pay another 6,000 pounds to this auction house or to this estate agency for, for running this online auction. 
Now I'm saying six thousand pounds as a minimum. You know, if your property is worth two hundred thousand pounds, the auction fees are actually three point five percent plus VAT, so that's four point two percent in total. So um, it's actually more than three and a half. It's more than six thousand pounds. You know, four point two percent of two hundred thousand pounds off the top of my head um, is eight thousand four hundred. Uh, including VAT. So now the buyer has to pay 8,400 on top of the purchase price of 200,000. Now that, that's a massive, massive amount of money. Um, not everybody can afford to do that. <laughs> so what we have to do now is we have to take that account, th those fees into account when we're offering on your property. So all of a sudden, if we could offer 100,000 pounds before or 200,000 pounds before, we can't offer that anymore because we have to pay the auction house. Um, and also it puts off so many buyers um, that would ordinarily go for your property. You may think that you'll have, you know, tens of people running through your door. Um, and you may have that if you went through the traditional auction or if you went through the traditional high street estate agent where the buyer doesn't have to pay those fees. But because you're going through an online auction where the buyer has to pay these extra fees, you're losing a lot of potential buyers. Uh, and those buyers that do eventually bid for your property will not bid what they could have bid if the, if, if the property was sold the tra traditional way. So this is just something to bear in mind. I, I just want to highlight the, the way online auctions work. Um, if you are considering selling your house and you know, you do get encouraged to go down this online auction route, this is, this is the reality behind it. This is the truth that they may not tell you. So, this, you know, hopefully this has been of use to you. One other thing I'd say is, you know, consider selling your property to an investor or a cash buyer directly. You know, you don't necessarily have to go through an estate agency or an online auction or, you know, purple bricks. So you know, don't think that they're the only routes that you've got. You know, there are people like myself. I do buy houses for myself, for clients that I work for. Uh, and if we can strike an agreement between ourselves, I'll make you a fair offer. You know, you can sell your house directly to me or my client. You wouldn't have to involve an estate agency. You wouldn't have to pay commissions. I wouldn't have to pay commissions if you, if you, you know, if you, if you went down the auction route. So uh, it could be something that benefits both of us. Now, if that's something you want to consider, you know, feel free to get in touch. And generally, hopefully, you'll found this uh, video of use. If you've got any comments, feel free to make them below. Uh, and please like the video if you if you found this informative. Thanks, bye.